Hi, welcome back to ODE YouTube channel. Today I'm here for a very special review and it is a Caveco Sport pen. So, this may not interest everybody. It is another review of a pen that I reviewed before. The, the model is the same. It has, this color is a little different, but um, I think it's always useful to show you particular pens and particular features, colors and so on. And about Caveco, I am crazy about them, so you know that. So, this is the Caveco Collection Mellow Blue. This is a, another pen from the Caveco Collection series. It is limited in time, it is an interesting pen, it was sent to me by Caveco for review, so thank you Caveco for sending me this pen. And you can see, this pen has a different box than the usual, and this is something that usually happens with the Caveco collection pens. They have, instead of the usual black box, it has this one that says Caveco collection and it has the same color as the pen inside. So, this was the pen that was recently released during the month of August. It comes inside this and it comes along with this little booklet with history of Caveco and here the warranty little booklet and also with a sticker okay so it comes inside a plastic wrap this is the little box which is nice and then you have the pen and it says here Caveco collection and I'm looking at the color and I'm seeing it's very hard to reproduce uh, let me just try to do something, maybe with exposure, to show it better to you. Maybe this is more, it's more realistic this way. Sorry about these adjustments now, but I think now it's more realistic. Although it looks almost a little bit too high, but... I think we'll go with this. It looks better. These colors are very hard to show. I have um, a photo of this pen along with other Kavec pens for you to see at the, um, the, communi the community. Yes. Um, how is it called? Uh, the community, community tab on the on my YouTube channel and you have a photo of this one compared to the others. But I'll show you a comparison so you'll have, you can have an idea of how it looks but I cannot war uh, guarantee that the color that you see here on, on the screen is exactly the color of the pen. I'm trying my best about doing this. It's easier, although difficult, to do it on photo. So, First of all, what is a Cavex Sport pen? Cavex Sport is a model that comes from the beginning of 20th century from a brand in Germany called Caveco. They make the Sport pen, which is a pocket pen. And it is a pocket pen because it's kind of short and it has um, a screw fit cap that will come out let me show you in one turn and one quarter almost you have a pen that is mostly cylindrical it has the screw there the, the threads there then you have the nib like this I think I have something here with maybe the color balance I'm not sure I'm not sure about the when I put the hand here it looks much warmer tone so let me show it like this so we have uh, this is a pen that let's go on it, it has a hour shaped um, section quite small it has a number five nib that says Caveco and it has the F for fine in this case. It has Caveco engraved kind of upside down on the feed. 
on the plastic feed. The nib is usually made of steel, it can be gold plated or natural color or it can be black but it depends on the on the variation but it can also be gold depending on the pen so it is a cartridge converter pen only takes small international cartridges or the short caveco cartridges and it has an octagonal cap this octagonal cap is mostly octagonal so it has eight facets the usual pens say Caveco Sport, this one says Caveco Collection because it's from that series. It has the logo on the top that matches the color of the engraving and matches the color of the nib. And so this is mostly a Caveco Sport. As I was saying to you, it is a short pen, but I think you can write with it unless you have unusually uh, large hands but if you post it it becomes a full-size pen and easy to write with so very reliable I really enjoy it but it's also kind of a personal preference so very interesting pen in my opinion it has the facets so you can also get optional clips with kind of eight facets also that will slide in and be in place if you prefer a pen with a clip to clip into stuff or just to act as a roll stop although it has these facets but it rolls anyway and this is it this is most of the pen so now let's talk about comparisons because i think that's why you you are here because reviews of cave exports there are lots of them around made by me or by many other uh, reviewers. So this is the Caveco Collection Mellow Blue. So what is there about Caveco Collection? Before Caveco Collection there was a special pen that was created for a Facebook group that we created which is, which is called Caveco Collectors and Users Group on Facebook. We are now almost I think 6,000 uh, members and we thought about creating a pen for exclusive for channel for the, the group it's not an exclusive completely exclusive but was created for that idea and that pen was called it had here you can see there caveco let me take this because of the focus i hope you can see sorry can see there Caveco Sport and it is a blind engraving so it's not filled with any chrome thing and there it says collectors edition so it was the the pen for the group it was in a, this coral color it was what was possible so simple pen with a steel nib nice color so this pen was created, the collector's edition, and it was so successful that Kavec thought they should make more because the units they created were not enough and created a new whole line of pens that, call, that was called Kavec Collection. And this Kavec Collection is composed by several pens. One, this is kind of the prehistoric, prehistoric version of the Kavec Collection collection but then Cave collection was created and so far we have the Caveco collection light lavender which is very light lavender color by the way this pen was issued with a problem some have Caveco collection on the cap some other have Caveco sport and that shouldn't be the engraving so there are some with some with this problem I have both, <laughs> of course. Um, then, at, so this was created in 2020. This is from 2021. Also from 2021, at the same time, it was released the Caveco collection with a gold colored nib, steel gold colored nib. This was the Vibrant Violet, which instead of being plastic, is a metal pen. Then, also in, in 2021, there was the I like this color a lot. This is the dark olive. I'm not completely sure if the colors are 
showing correctly there, also gold trim and a plastic pen. Then there was the in also in 2021 the Caveco collection Cyan with plastic and chrome trim, very nice color, bright blue. Then the last pen for last year it was this the Caveco collection there special red which is a Caveco special and it has a red color and it is a member of the Caveco collection so it was the first time that Caveco created this Caveco collection series in a pen that is not based on the sport I think I'll need to zoom out just a little bit so the the special can fit and so it was the first moment where a pen that is a different model came into the Caveco collection collection so 2020 2021 and in 2022 we have the irid iridescent pearl which is an interesting color that is very hard to show so it has kind of a pearl effect to it chrome trim plastic pen kind of translucent not too much but it is translucent so this is a very very interesting color i really think this was a great idea then they created also another pen model that is not a usual one for Caveco collection and you have there Caveco collection and it is called Lilliput Green because it is based on a Lilliput pen and it has the it is made of aluminium and it has steel nib also so this is the Caveco collection Lilliput Green and now they released the Caveco collection mellow blue which I'm talking about today and also the Caveco collection with also gold trim iguana blue which is a very nice bright blue color but this one is made of aluminium so this is the overview so far of the Caveco collection series sorry about these but I had to show them and I think it is kind of important for just for some context now let's go for some color comparisons and this that's why these videos get very long but i don't think they would be useful if i was just talking too, too for too long about the Caveco sport and not about these comparisons so we have here for comparison the Caveco collection i will put it on the middle because it is the star of this show today Caveco collection mellow blue here we have the Caveco collection Cyan very different color then I have some others let me try to find a way to show them well this is the Caveco Skyline Sport in white which is white maybe this is a little bit overexposed but I think it's better this way this is the Caveco Skyline Sport Cement which is a very light gray and with this kind of exposure I think you can see well white and gray there is also the Caveco Skyline Sport Mint and this is a regular edition not a special one and also the Skyline Sport White is so you have you can see that these colors are not exact matches we have the Caveco Elite Royalty, this is the crown blue color that was made for the United States and you can see it is darker than the mellow blue we have the Caveco Skyline Sport and this is the Serenity Blue which is a very light blue and it is kind of similar but when you look at them mostly with the pen in front of you not only in camera you can see this this is darker and it has a different shade to it and now just for more comparisons more extreme comparisons we have here the Caveco frosted sport light blueberry 
which is a different kind of plastic it is translucent and you can see it is a different kind of color it doesn't really match this uh, lineup and we have also the Caveco classic sport navy blue which is kind of the current dark blue version which is really a dark blue so you can compare this is the mellow blue with a dark blue and with a white so i think you can have an idea of how it looks then i brought here also a pen that is a plat platinum reg regal this is a pen this is an interesting old pen that i got in flea market on the flea market so much more turquoise than a very light blue and we have here the lamy safari blue macaron which is a different also different shape much closer to the mint although a bit darker than to this mellow blue so this mellow blue is really a color of its own kind and if we have to create a, a color family for it i would say that amazingly the cement although it is gray and the serenity blue and the crown blue would be the closest with this family now let's go for something that is um, truth for all or true for all caveco sport pens which is the size comparison with some other well-known pens we have the, the lamy safari the blue macaron that i showed you just before the caveco collection mellow blue and uh, parker centennial dual fold in black and the dual fold and the safari are of the same size and the caveco is considerably smaller but when you uncap the lamy you may post it but i think it becomes too top heavy so i don't post it you have the cavex sport and you post it because i would say it was created to be posted and when you pick up the parker centennial blue fold which posts very it posts well but it's very very length uh, very long you have these three pens almost of the same size in fact the Caveco Sport is even bigger so forget about that theory that Caveco pens are Caveco Sport pens are for people who love small pens they are not small but yes they may be a little slim on the section when you compare with the Parker Dufold yes it is slimmer but it's not that much slimmer look at it so there are some myths about this that exist maybe a series of pen myths could be interesting i'll think about that so now let's make a close-up and show you the pen writing so here i have the pen and paper and let's start this let's see if this I have some problems with the autofocus of the new phone that I use for these videos. Ah, something that I forgot to say. Uh, this pen costs around 25 euros. And you'll have, I will leave links below so you can find these pens online if you want. So let me just show you how it w works. So this is the Caveco, not Sport. Although it is a Caveco Sport, but it is the Caveco Collection Mellow Blue, which is a very nice soft blue with a fine steel nib that writes perfectly, immediately, very good pen. I put here one of the royal blue cartridges that come with the pen i just put it in and maybe three seconds after the pen is ready to write many pens don't do that you you need to wait a lot of time for the ink to to reach the tip of the nib in this case it doesn't happen and the ink i'm using as i told you it is the caveco royal blue and the paper is the usual rodia 
dot pad and let's just see some things the flow of the pen is perfect so it can keep up with writing about the line variation you won't find a lot but if you press really hard you can see more ink on paper but it's not really a natural thing that you'll do so this is with no pressure this is with some pressure but you don't feel comfortable to pressure to to press it too much so don't forget about this line variation and there is also the reverse writing that some people like it actually works quite well it's finer but it's a little bit scratchy i don't find it pleasant and just for you to see this is how the pen writes i think this is wet enough for a nib that is just a fine and an ink that is not that wet so this is a pen that i am very pleased with to, with it however as you know i collect all cafe exports that come out so i have a lot of them maybe i'll do a video of showing all my collection again i already made one uh, last year but this pen would interest me i think anyway but i think this color is quite nice i think many people will enjoy it so now let's just make uh i don't i don't remember if i told you about the price around 25 euros i think i did and let's just write a, a longer writing uh, a paragraph and i will speed this up so you can see it and but you can see the pen in action Okay, I think this is more than enough, so you can see, you can see that my handwriting is really messy, you can see that I can't follow the lines of the paper, which actually has no lines, just dots, but you can have an idea. The pen works great, the flow is great, it's very pleasant to hold, by the way, because it becomes long enough, you can decide to hold it there or higher, if you, as you prefer. It's really a nice pen, you know that I'm a Kavec fan. So, this is what I had to show you. I have to thank you all for watching and especially to Kavec for sending me this pen for review and to present to you. So I was able to show you uh, the unboxing before anyone else and this is kind of a privilege. So thank you so much. Thank you so much for watching and I'll be back for more reviews on Kavec pens and some other that I have. So this is all for today. I hope to meet you soon here on the channel. Bye.